You feel like gang culture is as big on the East Coast as it, as it is on the West Coast? Gang culture? Yeah. I feel like it's, nah, it's fairly moderate. I feel like now, now it's even. I feel like now it's, like, I feel like, I ain't gonna lie, because I, because for me, I do watch a lot of shit, a lot of documentaries, a lot of, for me, but it's like, when it comes to the gang culture for me, I'm I'm five fifty. For me, I'll let y'all know that's right now. I'm big five fifty. I'm six five fifty, but I'm throwing up sixty always. What's that for mean? I'm five fifty, I'm I'm six old. For me, like we from right. poor Richmond. For me, uh-huh. I'm six old. I'm from y'all know where I'm from. I'm from Ad B. You called the B, nigga. That's where the six old shit started, nigga. For me, like five fifty. We done been through everything, like yes, anything you can imagine. Niggas done been through it, just like any other nigga, just like any other hood. For me, like, but like. So, right, so let me let me let me let me let me let this in the bar right now because I don't like the politics is annoying. Like uh-huh. big six so for me, the six and the O for me. I'm not rolling sixties. I'm not a neighborhood. I really I fuck with the lokes. Of course I fuck with. I got lokes I fuck with. Mm. For me, I got hips I fuck with. For me, like I fuck with the lokes. For me, I'm my me myself. I'm five fifty. For me, but like I said, I'm throwing up sixty. That's my team. For me, that's my camp. For me, and like. It's not no crip shit. It's not no blood shit. Niggas is 550. Niggas is still well respected. Niggas already know our body. Like, it's, like it's, like it's the hood. It's the poor. It's my side of the poor from the dark side. For me, like, it's the dark side. Like, oh, the, come to the dark side, you're going to find you a 6 old nigga, man. Let me ask you this, Lee. You ever saw the, uh, the Vice special, the gang special of the crip nigga getting jumped in for the gang? Okay, I, I think I did. Yeah, it's, it's where the whole fight back me comes back. For, come for, comes from. Nah, fight back. Fight back. That it comes from a crib nigga getting jumped in. Okay. All right, okay. I'm, I'm going to show you the clip after this. All right, show me. You're going to have to show me the clip, my boy. Oh, my brother. Make the circle. Make the circle. Get him out. Let him get up. Let him get up. Let him get up. So did you have to did you have to get dropped into this shit? When it comes to the six O shit, when we when we when we for me recruit niggas or we we bring somebody into the six O shit, it's not more or less like that for me. Cause like I said, the pussiest nigga will knock you out. The pussiest nigga will shoot you. It don't it don't for me it don't take for me. It's more of a self respect, more of a integrity thing. Like you got what it takes. Like leave. Like for me, when it's us, we we about our business. We about. For me, standing on principles, we stand on our responsibilities. For me, like you doing you, like for me, and this was we respect your shit and we like how you come in for me. And we bring you into the six o shit for me, like of course it's music based too for me. Mm. But when it comes to the for me, and and of course like you gotta have some type of porous with ties. You can't like for me, you can't be six o. You don't got no porous with ties, man. Big six o. You know, I'm from the high, man. Thank you. All right, but. With this gang shit, there's two sides. There's two sides of the coin, you feel me? Always. There's the street life, but people okay. always say you either end up dead or in jail dealing with this shit. Have you ever ended up end, um, ended up behind bars? I'll be able to say it, because I definitely end up dead. You see me say it. Yeah, nah, I'll be so, saying it. Um, but nah, nah, yeah, I, did, I ain't gonna fight. I always come home. For me, I ain't gonna fight. It was never nothing more than a slap on the wrist. But for me, I feel like not going to jail don't make you pussy. Like what? I don't understand the logic in that. Getting that caught, don't make no caught, sense to me, bro. Getting caught makes you gangster, allegedly, though. That's retarded. I'm not gonna front. That's that's a that's a that's a stupid way of thinking. Mm-hmm. Feel me? You going you going to think you you believe this man going this man pussy because he ain't do no jail time? You know what that man do? Like you don't know what that man do? You don't know what that man working on? You don't know what that man who that man carrying? Yeah. Let me ask you this though. Let me ask you. But that man carrying, you heard? Listen to this, Lee. When they put them cuffs, when they put them cuffs on, on your on your wrist. And they, they put these shackles on my legs. I've been there. Yeah, when, when, they, when they did that, what are the thoughts going through your mind, bro? I ain't going home tonight. <laughs> I know I ain't going home tonight. They slap them cuffs on you. You better be prepared to spend a night in a cold cell. <laughs> you better make that nigga sit on the floor, nigga. 
fuck you talking about, nigga? <laughs> but nah, facts on niggas be scary for me. Like I said, I ain't go for a guy like for me. I ain't go for it. Matter of fact, I can say this. I did a little, like, in my juvenile years, they took me in, like, for me. I did a little, I did a little, like, I don't even know if it was a full month for me. I did a little, a little something in juvie. That shit is nothing, bro. That shit is like, that shit was like Mount Loretta, nigga. Like, I was, a, I was, a, that shit wasn't real crazy, nigga. Like, that shit was a nothing for me. But as I got older for me, I duck and dodge that shit. That shit is for me. You don't need, niggas don't need to be. Niggas don't need to be getting locked up and shit like that. For me, that shit ain't that shit ain't about like for me. Take care of your family, you all like. All right. That's all I gotta say about that for me. And just cause that man ain't been in jail don't mean that man pussy, you heard? What would you say to somebody who wants to join a gang in 2024? 2024? <laughs> you're a little late. You're a little late, my brother. I would say you're a little late. My son pop on the phone, you heard? You're a little late. I would say that they're a little late for me to try to join the gang. The 2024, like, nah, to each his own. To each his own. Yo, 60. To each his own, for me. To each his own. To each his own, for me. If you want to join the gang, join the gang, for me. But, like, don't think join the gang going to make you a man, for me. Like, because, look, I'm a man without it. For me, like, how we feel like, for me, I'm a man without it. Like, for me, like, I should know I still get bitches, for me. I still get money, for me. I still got respect. Niggas do not play my body for me. Come on, you don't need that shit. I feel like it's not necessary, but to each his own. For me, like like I said, nigga, I got family members, nigga. I got my nephew, nigga. My nephew banging, nigga. And that's the that's my little nephew, nigga. Like for me, this shit is, this shit gets real, nigga. Like nah, for me, yeah, that shit, that shit gets real.